welcome to my channel today i'll be making kung soup with shrimp and lobster so let's get started first you're gonna go ahead and clean the kung by removing the outer layer and then cutting off any excess Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut the kunk into bite-sized pieces. You can choose to leave it whole, you can choose to cut it in half. There's no right or wrong way to this process, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it into bite-sized pieces. Next, I'm going to go ahead and transfer the kunk into a bowl. And here I will start the cleaning process. So I'll be using vinegar and lime to cut the smell as well as to clean the kunk. Now I'm going to add water to the pot and allow that to come to a boil. Now that the water has come to a boil, we're going to go ahead and add the kunk. Uh, the kunk does take a longer time to cook, so we're going to go ahead and add the kunk in before we add in our, all the other ingredients. Now I'm going to go ahead and prepare the other ingredients to add to the soup. So here I have Jamaican pumpkin, chocho, carrots, potatoes, white yam, and yellow yam. So I'm going to go ahead and peel and cut those up. The kunk is now halfway through the cooking process. Now I'm going to add the other ingredients, which are the pumpkin, the yams, the potatoes, and the chocho. Once that comes to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and add my dumplings to the pot. It's time to prepare the lobster and shrimp, so I'm going to go ahead and clean that first with lime and vinegar.
Now it's time to add the seasonings. Here I'm adding the Grace Coconut Milk Powder. You can use the coconut cream or you can use the coconut milk, whatever you have access to. I've added the fish tea soup mix, but if you have the clock flavor, I suggest you use that one as it will more likely to enhance the flavor. I also went ahead and added my thyme, my scallion, as well as a few fermented berries. I've also added my scotch bonnet as well as um, some butter, which is optional. So now that the soup is almost done, I'm going to go ahead and add the lobster and the shrimp to the mix. And I'm just going to allow that to cook. So here I'm just removing the scallion in the thyme and I'm just going to pop the scotch bonnet pepper just to add a little bit more um, kick to the soup. So now that it's cooked, it should look like this. So thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe. See you next week. Bye.